Area code 630. What's up, man? Hello, Ghost. Uh, this is Bebop from Chicago again. How you doing, man? Uh, not too bad yourselves. Not too bad. Just here. I called in a few days ago to uh, share a TSA story, and you cut me off. I think you thought I was a troll, and you said that I was taking too long to get to the point. Yeah, yeah, go so ahead. I, I remember you. Go ahead. I, I have a condensed version of my story, if you're still interested in hearing it. Go ahead. We're, we're, yeah, we're listening, man. All right. Well, as I said, um, right now I am getting uh, lawsuit threats for treason for sharing this story with the BBC. When I arrived to... Uh, to the airport with some of my friends. I went from O'Hare International to LAX. I arrived at the airport with some of my friends. We got to the first security checkpoint, and that was the full body scanner. And I knew about my opt-out right for this. I'm not sure if many people know about opt-outs for security scanners or not. But I'm sure they don't. (laughs) You can actually say the words, I don't want to do this, I'm opting out, and they will take you off to the side, they'll pat you down. Or they'll take you off to a private room and they'll strip search you, but there there will be no cameras involved. So either way, you're still risking that. For a strip search because you don't want to go and get your Johnson uh, X-ray photograph? Are you kidding me? Well, it's it's because uh, a lot of people will opt out because they actually store those images on a database. And with all the security leaks that are coming out, I'd rather them strip search me than have my Johnson on the database that might get leaked by a lulsec group well how do you know there's not a camera in in that room to begin with anyway you know that they have cameras the size of pinholes now well on they had you sign or they had me sign a waiver actually uh saying that i was not being videotaped but i do understand uh that since there is no videotape then whatever i say couldn't be used legally but i mean aren't you afraid that you know I mean, it didn't, well, just just get to the story. I mean, where did the infringement on your rights happen, and you say this to the uh, BBC, and you're getting tried with treason? You know, you know we, that's where we want to get to. How how did that happen? Right, so they, they take me to the back room, and I see that they have a, a little box of latex gloves. And I don't know if any of you know what that means, but... Yeah, they, they're they don't give you put a on latex anal gloves. Anal cavity search or something, man. Are you kidding me? Were they were they suggesting that you have an anal cavity search? Uh, they weren't only suggesting it; however, they're insisting it. And I, I immediately, once I saw that, I, I told them I'd turn around, I'd go home, and I would, I would drive with some of my other friends. I'd drive to California, and they told me flat out that I could not leave, and if I were to leave, then I would be put under arrest. Oh my God. Are you kidding so me? They, this, this happened in America? This happened going out of O'Hare International Airport in Chicago, Illinois. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, you know, they, they proceed with the body cavity search, as they call it. And the entire time, all I could think was, you know, what, what would anybody else do in this situation? What would, like, what would people like you do in this situation? I started to think about what you'd do. I started to think about you, and I started coming buckets all over the floor. Well, they're fisting my asshole. I just couldn't, like, my, my asshole started constraining against the, the, the wrist. And just the sensation of it was so beautiful. I, I spewed all over the floor, and it, it took really? them and so you, long. You decided, to... And you decided that, hey, you know, it's time for me to turn a little fruit bowl, and, you know, time for me to turn a uh, uh, flesh flute player. It's time for me to, you know, take it up the pooper. Is that what you're thinking? Oh, it, it's fruit bowl Wednesday, Ghost. And I just wanted to give you a nice little story to relate. Everybody's got the best assless chaps on. Everybody's wearing. Oh, well, 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 let's just go ahead. Hey, you know, what? hold on. I'll tell you what. Since you're, since you're fruiting off on the mic, let's go ahead and throw some fruit music on here, so it'll make you feel a little better. Go could ahead. We, throw could some we please? Music. Throw some fruit. Let's music celebrate on football the Wednesday here. like a champion. There it is. Oh. Yeah. Fruit Can you chante Wednesday. for me? Can you chante? I'll chante if you don't chante. Chante, 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 chante. I know you know the words. Fruit Bowl, because you were stumbling over your own tongue, for Christ's sake.